Hello everyone, uh, this is Jim Atwood uh, in Japan and I uh, thought I would put together a quick little video here to show those interested in the Roland W30 and how the HXC floppy disk emulator uh, with the SD card can work and boot up the Roland W30. Um, this is my Roland W30 right here and uh, I have it sitting on top of an ultimate stand and out the back here you can see that I have connected the HXC emulator uh, out through the back of the Roland W30 and I have a ribbon cable from the floppy drive and over here is the power cable and it's connected here to the HXC and all I did was sandwich it between the top and the bottom casing I don't know if I can reach over here if you can see that back there you can see it just kinda sandwiched in between the top and the bottom covers there. And I did this because you'll notice that the floppy disk drive is still intact and to get this floppy disk drive out uh, requires a lot of work and it's easy to do but it takes a lot of time to get it out and at the time I just wanted to test the HXC and so I left the floppy disk drive in there. Mine works so um, you know if I wanted to I could just pop the top off, disconnect the HXC and then just attach it to the floppy disk drive and it would be working again. I wouldn't have to go through the trouble of installing the floppy disk drive if I, if I wanted to do that. Um, what I'm going to do here is power it up and show you how it starts up and boots the W30. Um, inside the HXC, you'll notice I have an SD card and in, on that SD card I have the appropriate uh, boot file image uh, that I created and I also have some floppy drive images and I also have the uh, boot drive image for the uh, S330 as well. You can put multiple boot images on, on, the, uh, on one SD card if you like. And so, okay, so I'll start it up and you'll see that the HXC pops on rather quickly. Okay. And at the moment, you probably can't see it on my video camera here and it's upside down, but it, currently it has the W30107 system and currently it's booting right now. I'll move this over to my screen and you'll see that it's currently doing its job um, right now it's it's just booting like I would put a floppy disk in um, it did not ask me to uh, insert a floppy disk because the SD card was already inside and it's still booting right now and I have found no speed differences, um, other than the fact that I didn't obviously have to put in a floppy disk, uh, and I didn't have to, you know, do anything special, but just have it all hooked up. And now I'm getting the welcome to the world of W30, and now it's online. So now I have the OS booted up and everything's ready to go and then the HXC um, basically goes into like a sleep mode and then you can push the middle button here turn it on and then it automatically says choose a file and with this I can then uh, go through the different floppy images that I might have saved to this SD disk and that would allow me to you know boot up or not boot up but to load up another floppy disk image for different sounds and uh, I think you can have I don't know how many you can have on this card I have a right currently I just have a 128 megabyte card here but obviously you can have a much larger card if you want to so um, and I don't know all the specifics for that but in any event um, just want to show you real quick that it indeed uh, boots up the W30 uh, you can then switch uh, to different floppy images that you create and load up on the SD card and uh, you can you know run it out the back um, yes it does dangle out the back here and I just have it resting on another on, on a hat here on my uh, other keyboard stuff I, it's kinda crowd jam-packed with all my gear uh, over here on this side of the room and but uh, I also have the floppy disk drive still in there it doesn't work obviously because it's disconnected but um, I can hook it up and anybody who has removed this floppy disk drive will understand what I'm saying is that you literally have to take out almost everything just to get to this floppy disk drive and it's not something I, I would uh, want to do at the moment 
Uh, of course, if you took it out, then you could put the probably the HXC inside this little uh, opening here, and perhaps you could create something um, if you have that ability to enclose it, uh, or perhaps you could set it down here and it'd be easier to access instead of uh, opting to do what I did out the back. But like I said, uh, this works just fine. Another reason why I did this is to unhook it, and then I could attach it um, to my S330 over here. Oh, excuse me, it's, it's over here, uh, S330 here, which uh, I currently have uh, the floppy drive in it. Um, but I did take it out and, and tested with the S330, and the HXC works great with the S330 as well. So, um, but yeah, anyway, I uh, hope this uh, shows you that it does work, and it uh, works great, and, and uh, it's awesome to have, because if this floppy disk drive were to uh, crash, or on my S330, if it were uh, the floppy disk drive were to crash, uh, then obviously um, I would be out an instrument. So now it works, and um, yeah, I hope this uh, gives you uh, some... Uh, insight on to uh, about what I did. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye